Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Jan Pedagogy. In this section we are going to see about class 8 science lesson 7 conservation of plants and animals book back exercises. In the lesson we two parts upload so there is a link in the description box so don't miss it. Yeah, first one fill in the blanks. A place where animals are protected in their natural habitat is called sanctuary. B. Species found only in a particular area is known as endemic. C. Migratory birds fly to far away places because of dash changes, climatic changes. 2. Differentiate between the following. Wildlife sanctuary and biosphere reserve. Wildlife sanctuary. An area with which and wild animals are protected from external dangers like hunting. Biosphere Reserve, an area constructed for the reservation of biodiversity. Adequate habitat and protection are provided for the wild animals living in a sanctuary. Several life forms like plants, animals and other microorganisms conservation are possible in a reserve. Example Corbett National Park, example Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. B. Zoo and Wildlife Sanctuary. Zoo. Animals are kept in artificially constructed facilities for public ex exhibition. Wildlife Sanctuary. An area within which wildlife animals are protected from external dangers like hunting. Zoo. It is an artificial habitat and the animals may or may not adapt to the new conditions. The animals are conserved with their natural habitat itself so they won't have a problem with their surroundings c endangered and extinct species endangered endangered, endangered means i endangered species the species which are on the verge of the extinction are called endangered species example bengal tiger blue whale Extinct species. The species of animals or plants that no longer exist are called extinct species. Caribbean monk, seal, great arc, passenger pigeon. Then flora and fauna. Flora. It is a collective name for the plant life from a particular area. Fauna. It is a collective name for the animal life from a particular area. Example, spore and hogweed from the Nilgiris region. Fauna, example, langa, tiger, tar from the Nilgiris region. Question number 3. Discuss the effects of deforestation on the following. 1. Wild animals. Effects of deforestation on wild animals. Removal of trees and other unplanned life from a particular area for the construction of industries, agriculture, or for other such purpose is called deforestation. Plant life forms an integral part of the ecosystem and the plants from the natural habitat of various animals of that ecosystem. Destroying the plant life will ultimately threaten the existence of animals in that particular system and may lead to extinction. B. Environment Effects of deforestation on the environment in plants, photosynthesis takes place by the absorption of the carbon dioxide CO2 from the Earth's atmosphere. The percentage of CO2 in the atmosphere increases rapidly if the plant life of an area is destroyed. Increased concentrations of the carbon dioxide result in the trapping of the excessive heat radiations within the Earth's atmosphere, contributing to the global warming. This results in the rise of the temperature of the earth and disturbs the water cycle which occur in nature. Hence, rainfall pat pattern changes leading to drought and floods. C. Villages, rural areas. Effects of deforestation on villages. The soil particles are held together in a place by the roots of the plants, trees and other vegetation. In the event of water flow or a high speed wind over the top layer of the soil, the soil particles get removed easily as there are no plants to hold it in a place. Thus, soil erosion is increased by deforestation activities. Soil loses fertility and loses humus. Hence, a fertile land fit for agriculture turns into a desert. D. Cities, urban areas. Effects of deforestation on cities. 
the risk of natural calamities like floods and drought in urban area is increased by deforestation it will also lead to global warming because of the increased carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere this is a result of the continuous pollution from automobiles and industries the water cycle will also gets affected e earth effects of deforestation on earth deforestation leads to increased chances and occurrence of desertification drought and flood carbon dioxide level in the earth atmosphere also increases which leads to global warming the water plays is disturbed and there is also an increased risk of natural calamities if the next generation effects of deforestation on the next generation our environment is slowly changed by the activities of deforestation both directly and indirectly soil erosion global warming desertification drought greenhouse effect floods and may, may other many other problems are caused only by cause of deforestation ultimately the next generation will be facing the consequences of deforestation so number 4 what will happen if a we go on cutting trees if we go on cutting trees the animals will lose their natural habitat as an essential part of the ecosystem or destroyed this reduces the biodiversity of the affected areas the temperature of the earth also increases and gives way to global warming global warming in turn affects the water cycle hence rainfall pattern changes leading to drought and floods risk of soil erosion global warming desertification greenhouse effect increases b the habitat of an animal is disturbed all the basic necessities for the animal like food water shelter and production is provided by the habitat in which the animal lives in in disturbing the habitat of the animal forces it into the move to the other place in search of the food water shelter and production the animal in due course may killed may get killed by the other animals c the top layer of the soil is exposed removing the top layer of the soil gradually exposes the lower layers of the soil the lower layers of the soil are hard and rocky in nature and are less fertile this is because of the reduced quantity of the humus soil erosion on a continued basis will turn it barren and infertile question number 5 answer in brief a why should we conserve biodiversity the number of variety of various life forms such as plants animals and microorganisms in the area are called biodiversity both plants and animals have a mutual dependence on the each other for their survival as they are related to one other desertification destruction of one will automatically destroy the other hence biodiversity has to be conserved in order to maintain nature's balance b protected forest are also not completely safe for wild animals why people who live near the forest depend upon the resources of the forest in order to fulfill their day to day needs therefore it is not safe for the animals living in the protected forest the animals would be threatened by the presence of the human population this results in the killing of the wild animals and selling their products for huge sums of money c some tribals depend on the jungle how tribals is nothing but payanguri na payanguri payanguri makkal nu solvaangala avanga da the forest provide food fodder and other resources to the tribal people it is inevitable for them to depend on forest and their resources for everyday needs d what are the causes and consequences of deforestation causes of deforestation in order to accommodate the ever expanding urban population forest areas are often cleared and converted into lands for various uses for agricultural activities like crop cultivation cattle grazing forest land are cleared firewood is a major product from the forest and it is one of the main reason for cutting the trees on a large scale consequences of deforestation soil erosion loss of fertility flood drought global warming as a result of climatic change disruption of the water cycle 
ye what is red data book red data book is a source book which has an international list of all plant and animal species which are endangered the international union for conservation of nature and natural resources iucn maintains a book and adds or removes the names of the species by conducting a comprehensive survey f what do you understand by the term migration the movement of an organism or a group of organisms from its natural habitat to the another place at a particular time of each and every year known as migration the organisms do so in order to avoid uninhabitable conditions of the climate or for the process of breeding question number 6 in order to meet the ever increasing demand in the factories and for shelter trees are being continue, continually cut up is it justified to cut trees for such project discuss and prepare a brief report no cutting trees in order to meet the ever growing demands of the human population is not at all justified there are a vast number of organisms like wild animals insects and birds living in the forest the forest provide good quality air for both plants uh, for both animals and humans this is because of the process of plants respiration by which they consume the harmful carbon dioxide and give out the good quality of oxygen thus keeping the green of gases and global warming under check the roots of the flora of the forest helps in preventing soil erosion natural calamities such as floods and drought could also be prevented by their presence they help in the increasing the soil's fertility and conserving the biodiversity of the ecosystem over utilization of forest and its resources by cutting a large number of trees in order to satisfy the demands of the ever increasing human population leading to long term problems like soil erosion greenhouse effect global warming floods and drought besides the above listed problems the effects of the large scale deforestation will be leaving an everlasting mark on the face of human civilization the balance of the nature is disturbed by the destruction of trees hence it is of the utmost priority and importance to conserve forest question number 7 how can you contribute to the maintenance of the green belt of your locality make a list of actions to be taken by you i can take care of the i can take care of the green cover of my locality by growing men plants in my locality i shall motivate the people of my neighborhood to plant more trees and take care of the existing trees by creating awareness about the importance of plant life in an ecosystem in order to make this possible i would initiate the proceedings and organize weekly events on the same creating awareness among the children and youth would be a top priority as they will easily understand the issues that we we are facing planning planting new trees is an important as looking after the existing ones so my volunteers and i would water the plants on the trees on the regular basis question number 8 explain how deforestation leads to reduced rainfall removal of trees and plant life from a particular area for the construction of industries agriculture and other purposes is termed as an deforestation photosynthesis in plant life takes place by the absorption of the carbon dioxide from the earth surface earth atmosphere when the plant life is destroyed the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will increase drastically leading trap of the heat radiation which causes global warming this rise in temperature will affect the water cycle disturbance in the water cycle will lead to the change of events and in the end the rainfall pattern changes and results in the drought question number 9 find out about the national parks in your state and identify and show their location on the outline map of india Periyar National Park located in the state of the Kerala it's mentioned also in the map 2 okay map ni vandu mention paniruken question number 10 why should paper be saved prepare a list of ways by which you can save paper if one ton of clean white paper is to be produced 17 full grown trees are cut down trees play a major role in maintaining a balance in nature so it is essential to save paper in order to protect the trees best to save paper 
collecting and recycling of used paper using both sides of the paper for writing spreading awareness about the importance of the paper among the school children and youth intelligent and proper use of paper question number 11 Com- complete the word puzzle down species on the word of extinction answer is endangered two a book carrying information about endangered species answer red data book five consequences of deforestation the set across one species which have vanished answer extinct three species found only in particular habitat answer endemic four variety of plants animals and microorganisms found in an area answer biodiversity yeah this is an answer for that okay children i hope this section is useful to you in the lesson in the lesson and pathinga two are split panni split panni irukka so and rendu video link enna panna na description box la tharen so don't miss it i'll meet you guys on the next video until then bye bye from priyadarshini